Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So this could resonate at any time in September or at any time, period. But typically, you know, this is for September. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. Well, that was a jumper, wasn't it? We're going to keep going. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio for the month of September? Ooh, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So you got to let go of control issues. Whatever is meant to happen is going to happen. You can't control it. Basically, let go and let God, right? So, let's get a couple of these for Scorpio. Universe is in control. There's another jumper. Somebody may be jumping ship or they're jumping around. Bo, you are highly thought of, Scorpio. Somebody thinks very highly of you. Oh, wow. That's a big stack. We're not going to take it. Could be dealing with an Aries who did see Ram. There we go. Ladder. Climbing towards success. So you're climbing towards success. Things are jumping though, so that you gotta take that as a message. It's like jumping all around. <sighs> falling out, you may have be having a falling out with somebody, and if that's what happens, then you gotta let it happen. You can't control it. We got three. I only have uh, two of these or one left. But we're going to take all these. Carrot. Opportunity or windfall. So you are going to have an opportunity or windfall. Broom. New home. New attitude. Some of you are moving. Unsuccessful plans. So you may be moving because something is not being successful. We do have a new home here, which changes your attitude. It will probably cause you to climb that ladder. <sighs> You're going to be getting a new opportunity. It's about to uh, pop up. Okay, a new opportunity is about to pop up. Let's just see what we got here. For Scorpio. You may not be able to see this one, but it's okay. What do we have for Scorpio? Something's going to be unsuccessful and you can't control it. You can't control it. It's out of your control. Whatever this is, whatever is falling out, because there's going to be a falling out. I know that there is. Nothing happens by coincidence. You're going to be climbing towards success and people are going to respect you. You are going to be respected. I think some of you are moving to a new home. Because whoever you're living with right now, it's unsuccessful. So what do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, the Empress reversed. So the Empress reversed. This is somebody that is very selfish. There's a lack of growth. This is uncaring. Somebody that is jealous. May have a jealous, self-absorbed individual who uh, doesn't take care of herself, or she doesn't take very good care of her family. She's not very loving. She's not very kind. Some of you may have had an absent mother because this is an absent mother energy as well. Or you could be dealing with a wife if you are a man that is watching this. Or a girlfriend that doesn't really take very good care of you. There could be a woman here that has affairs. Could would be the word. 
This is somebody who doesn't care very much or an absent mother, you know. Eight of Swords reversed. Now this is an obstacle being removed. This is coming out of a trap. You may have been trapped in a situation. Maybe you were unable to see, wearing a mask, staying in a safe place, trying to play it safe. There's, an op there's been some sort of lies that, ha that have been ignored. Somebody's been ignoring the truth. Ooh, Knight of Swords reversed. Now, oh, let me get a card to go with that. Page of Wands reversed. So you are dealing with an individual that is mean-spirited. They have nothing good to say. This is somebody that, this is a negative Nelly. They make excuses. They procrastinate. They act recklessly. They get angry a lot. You're dealing with somebody, these two cards right here, that is probably pretty abrasive. Okay, this person is probably pretty abrasive. They don't think before they act. They do things without thinking. They're unreliable. Maybe you're dealing with a show-off. This person has been holding you back. They have been holding you back. I feel like you're going to receive some sort of news. It's not going to be good news, okay? Because a page of wands is bad news. Could be a child. You know, you could be dealing with somebody. It could be your child. Could be if you're an adult, you know, and you have children. If you don't have children, you could this could be uh, somebody that you live with. I think it is somebody that you live with that acts like a child. The Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that is ignorant, a know-it-all. You, I think you're dealing with a know-it-all. This person is rude, they're clueless, they're very selfish. They may have made you feel, closed you off. You know what I mean? They may have made you feel jealous. You know, they made you jealous. They did that on purpose, you know, that kind of thing. I feel as though there isn't, this is an obstacle that being removed though with the Eight of Swords reversed. This is, this is uh, letting go of the emptiness. Breaking free from this situation that has, that you stayed in. You chose to stay in it. You chose to stay in it because maybe you didn't, if you're a woman watching this and, and even if you're a man, this is a person that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. If you grew up without a mother, then you may not have been nurtured. And you can sometimes seek out situations where um, it's lacking because that's all you know. You don't know what it feels like to be loved. Reluctant to move on. So this is reluctant to move, uh, staying put in a troubled situation. Definitely some of you have, and, and if you are the female watching this, you have chosen to stay in this situation because you don't know your value and you don't know your worth. And you are dealing with an individual over here and it doesn't matter what sign it is. This individual is ruthless, immature, plays games, has nothing good to say, always putting people down. Ignorant. You're dealing with an ignorant individual where there's no victory, there's no success. This is somebody with an overinflated ego. And you are going to be re receiving some unwelcome news. This person probably says a lot of things that are untruthful. This is somebody that you cannot trust. This is not a winner, okay? This is not a winner, this is a loser. I'm sorry. You are, this is, this is, to, you are dealing with somebody that has set you back. This is a setback. Look at these sixes reverse. Sixes upright are the journey to balance and harmony. What's the opposite of that? The journey to hell.
It's time for you to get your life back on track. It, and the only way for you to get your life back on track is to deal with the pain of leaving whatever this situation is. Release. But some of you have been holding on to that pain, right? You've been holding on to it, staying because it's safe. It's kind of comfortable there, right? Even though it's very troubled, it's kind of comfortable. If you are single and you are watching this, you're single and you're not finding victory. You're not, you're not, this is not victory. You're not finding victory. It's because of your own mentality. It's because you're choosing people that are childish, that are abrasive, that are clueless, that are ignorant. These people may look good, but that's it. The Empress in reverse is somebody that, is, if this is you, it's a female. This is a female that doesn't know how to love. She doesn't even know how to love herself. And she's jealous. And she's self-absorbed. And she, she probably, you know, <laughs> there could be some infidelity here. Or... You know, if you, you know, if you're single, we're talking about if you're single, if you're single, the Empress in reverse is a woman that doesn't know her value. Okay. She sleeps around and nobody wants her. She's weak. The Empress in Reverse is weak. She's the prime target for a narcissist. She is. She's beautiful, but she doesn't know her value. Anyway, the Temperance in Reverse. And, and you know, if you're the male watching this, I'm going to change this up. If you're, if you're the male watching this, you may be dealing with a woman who is playing with you. She's not abundant. She doesn't have anything to offer. She's looking for somebody to come rescue her, but she still wants to play. This is a one hit wonder, the Six of Wands reversed. There's no staying power here. It's all show. You may, you may end up feeling disgraced and embarrassed. This is public embarrassment. Maybe, you, I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius twice. You have Taurus and you have... Libra. But this is reluctant to take a new approach, staying in a troubled place, staying where it's comfortable. But I think that you are ready. I think that you're ready to step outside of your comfort zone. There may be some mental abuse here. Okay, There's, there could be some anger and some abuse. Somebody could be getting, you know, verbally abused. And it's time for a change. This is learning a lesson. The temperance card is about balance. It's about being in harmony, being in flow. This is about change. It's about evolving. This is the path that represents the journey of life. This comes after death. This is healing after an ending. It's allowing and accepting change. So I think that you guys are going to be, a, going to be allowing this situation to unfold. It's going to. Something is going to happen with this woman. And I don't know who this woman is. We think about this. That you could be dealing with a motorcycle because this is like somebody moving very, very fast. If you're dealing with anybody on a motorcycle, I suggest you don't get on the back. Don't do it. This is somebody that leads somebody to, into danger. This is somebody who is clueless, that is a show-off, that is rude, and they you know, they could have an accident. Just saying. And 
Anyhow, this is in temperance. We were talking about temperance, right? This is the path that forces you to change or gives you the opportunity to change. Tower is the force. This is the need to change. To allow and accept change. There's going to be a change. You are going to be presented with an opportunity. Where's the opportunity? Opportunity or windfall. You're going to be presented with an opportunity to, I think, move. Move somewhere. To move away from this trouble. To move away from this uh, battle. You're in some sort of trap. I think you've been ignoring it, though. You've been ignoring it because it was kind of comfortable. And, you know. But there is going to be a change with this temperance card. There's going to be an exchange of some sort. You're going to need to manage your feelings. And you're going to need to find the self-discipline. To move on. From something that you have been refusing to acknowledge. You've been refusing to acknowledge somebody's abuse. Or their neglect. Or the fact that they um, don't love you. Or, or something like that. There's definitely a lack of peace and harmony and balance. And it's time for you to find it. It's time for you to heal. You deserve happiness. You deserve balance. You deserve peace. So Scorpio. Scorpio is going to... Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose right here. This, every, something is happening. It's happening for a reason. So because it's time for a change. It's time for you to get out of this troubled situation with whoever this individual is that doesn't value you. But you've been refusing to accept it and to allow, holding on, staying in this place, wearing a mask. Pretending that everything's okay. Perhaps you've been pretending think everything's okay. Maybe there was an absent mother or something and you just don't know what love is. I'm not sure. But you're dealing with a one-hit wonder that has no staying power that is probably pretty abusive. I feel like this person is absolutely clueless. They're dangerous. This person is dangerous. Two of Wands. You need to make a decision. You need to make it right now. This is a split-second decision. Things can change at a moment's notice. This is two paths, two options. This is suddenly leaving, making a decision. This is lack of contentment in a partnership. It's time for you to make a decision based on your future. Do you want to keep holding on to something or staying where you are at with a person that has nothing good to say? This person is, I feel like this person is clueless. I feel like they are a show-off and they are a big show-off. This is a know-it-all. You are dealing with somebody that is all show. You're going to be making a decision. You're going to be making it on the fly. You are. I think something is going to happen where, you know, it's some sort of altercation with that Knight of Swords reversed. Explosive energy. Somebody may explode, okay? It may explode and you decide, you decide it's time to go. I'm getting the hell out of this fucking prison. This is painful. This is a painful separation. This is heartache. Grief, suffering, pain, rejection. It's a painful separation. 
So I do believe that you are going to be separating from somebody. And I do think that there is going to be sadness. Okay? I'm sorry. There's a lack of emotional content with whoever you are with. This is happening for a reason. It's happening because this is a very troubled situation where you you are it's like you are behind bars almost. You've been in a lot of mental conflict and I think that you're going to something is going to happen where you reevaluate and it happens all of a sudden it's just you know what I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Or you, the person that you are dealing with makes the decision. Either you are making the decision or they are making the decision. This is a this is a spur of the moment decision. Yeah, I just want to say it may have something to do with the motorcycle because that motorcycle went speeding by and I'm not sure they might somebody may get on their motorcycle and leave. You may, you know, we got, we got unwelcome news here twice, this one and this one. You may receive some news, you know, that breaks you free from something. Because this is breaking free from a troublesome situation. This has all happened for a reason. I think you are going to be broken free from something that you were reluctant to break free from. Somebody didn't, wasn't taken care of as a child and therefore they don't know what love is. I feel like this month, uh... You're going to be letting go of this situation, whether you like it or not. I think it's out of your control. You're going to be separating from somebody. And, I, and this person was in prison or they, or they, you know, uh, made you feel like you were trapped or they caused you a lot of conflict one more card king of cups she could be dealing with pisces cancer scorpio this is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn that doesn't have good intentions that doesn't know how to love at this time this person is not emotionally available. They are secretive. They are non-communicative. They don't, they don't speak. They don't show their emotions. They hold it all in. You could have somebody dealing, be dealing with somebody that has some sort of addictions. The King of Cups in reverse sees themselves as a victim and doesn't want to be held responsible or accountable for any of their actions. I feel like this King of Cups in Reversed is uh, going to be the one that you are separating from. Or maybe it's you. Closing yourself off emotionally. This is closing down. You're shutting down your emotions, okay? I, I feel like it's or you're not being able to master your emotions. You know, I do feel like there is going to be some tears this month. There's going to be some sadness. This is going to be a painful separation from somebody that may have said all the right things or they may have seemed like they, you know, had the best intentions, but they didn't. I do think that there is going to be a massive change and somehow you are going to be, or the person you, there's moving here, there's moving. If you are single and you are watching this, 
I feel like you really better be careful. Be very, very, very careful. You could get yourself involved with an individual that... Male or female. That doesn't know how to love or is not emotionally available. This is not a good time to start a new relationship, put it that way. There's healing that is needed. You need time. This is about time to heal. So I do feel like you're going to be going through a painful separation from somebody that you thought maybe loved you. And you find out some sort of information. You know, this person was a liar and you find out some sort of information. And it feels like there's another person that tells you this information. It's like a third party, a meddler. So I feel uh, you need to be careful. I wouldn't be getting on any bikes if I was you. Um, I know a lot of you probably have motorcycles, whatever. Um, somebody could speed away. They could speed away and, you know, they take a wrong turn or something. Be careful. Be very, very, very careful. Um, we have a show off. We do have a show off here. That is, this is dangerous. Okay, this is a dangerous situation. We have a show off here that could lose control. So anyway, I feel like this month you may be dealing with some sort of painful separation that, you know, you you were choosing to ignore. You were choosing to ignore, you know, that this wasn't healthy. Okay, with that eight of swords, that this wasn't all it's cracked up to be but there's going to be some sort of explosion of some sort or you know it's behavior explosive behavior that just pushes you out or pushes you over the edge good luck